pour que ma petite chienne se relaxe. Elle s'appelle Cédie. De plus, je suis si fière de pouvoir exprimer un peu dans une langue étrangère que je ne parviens plus à fermer la bouche. You know what I mean? Anyway, this is show and tell. This is Sadie. And she was a birthday present. The cast of Funny Girl gave me a surprise party. And she was uh, under the coat. And I remember I put my uh, hand in the box and I thought, terrific, a warm hat. <laughs> Then the hat got up and walked under the couch. <laughs> But uh, before I got Sadie, I must admit, I didn't like dogs too much. Um, not that I disliked them, but I had nothing in common with them. You know, there was nothing to talk about. <laughs> After all, what am I to a dog, a singer? <laughs> And I don't sing high enough for dogs. <laughs> As you can see, Sadie is, uh, is not like some other French poodles you might know. I mean, some of them do have a sort of a, oh, kid, what's matter with them? Uh, some of them uh, have a sort of a haughty toady attitude, but, um, And they usually have these continental cuts or show cuts, but Sadie has something called a no cut. It's sort of a hooked rug that barks. Everyone needs a pet, did you know that? I mean, kids know that. And so they bring home all kinds of strays. And uh, like toads or kittens, and sometimes a chicken or a mouse, or uh, even another kid. Uh, something to have around the house for your mother to take care of. I know this one kid, he has a python. And they're, they're really very friendly, very clean and very quiet. And they just lie around the house and look at you all day long. But uh, if you like to have a, um, a pet that you can carry with you, then it must be pocket-sized, like this new animal called the gerbil. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's sort of a combination mouse and kangaroo. Actually, it's more like a mouse. Uh, in reality, it's more like a rat. Um, <laughs> but don't tell that to your mother or she won't let you have one. <laughs> but the, the first gerbil was discovered in uh, Mongolia, I think, by two biologists named um, a Mr. and Mrs. Grinney. Now, the name gerbil is a contraction of their first names, Geraldine and Bill. <laughs> and what happened was, um, Bill saw the gerbil first, and he nudged Geraldine and said, Ger, and she nudged him and said, Bill, and it was a big day biologically. <laughs> really, there are all kinds of pets, like monkeys, tarantulas, possums, guppies. I like guppies, because the um, male guppy dances around the um, female guppy during courtship, and that's always nice. <laughs> eat up all the mosquito eggs. Good for guppies. <laughs> I guess I really am for animals 100%. I seem to like everything about them. Animal stories and animal rides. And I like um, Welsh rabbit and <laughs> chocolate mousse. <laughs> and farms and, um, and any kind of circus, that's for me. And the, uh, the zoo and um, animal pictures on the wall, and animal stories, and um, animal crackers in my soup, monkeys and rabbits loop the loop. Gosh, oh gee, but I have fun swallowing animals one by one. In every bowl of soup I see lions and tigers watching me. I make them jump right through a hoop. Those animal crackers in my soup. When I get hold of the big bad wolf, I just push him under to drown. Then I bite him in a million bits and I gobble him right down. <laughs> Wonderful face 
it shines, it glows all over the place. Show me face and how I love to watch it change expressions. Each look becomes the prize of my possessions. I love your eyes, your cheeks, your hair. They're in a class beyond compare. It's the loveliest face that one could see. A find that special face. A find the form so light, so slender.
wanted the music to play on forever. Have I stayed too long at the fair? I wanted the clown to be constantly clever. But I couldn't find anybody to care The merry-go-round is beginning to slow now Have I stayed too long? Look at that fabulous face of yours I knew first look I took it in This was the face that the world adores Look at those eyes as wise and as deep as the 